this more true than during the summer of 96 at an aquatic park in Ohio. Fate often takes the form of the most mundane choices. Witness Raymond and Janet Chapman and their extended family. Their decision of which time to take in a boat show and where to sit would forever alter their lives. We had been to the park before. We, we, we hadn't seen this uh, particular boat show. We had wanted to go to the previous show, and we had gone over to the stadium, and the uh, stadium was all filled up. So uh, I went back down and told my wife, I said, nah, I said, I said, we could get in, but it's going to be crowded. I said, why don't we just go ahead and get a sandwich and uh, eat a sandwich, just relax down here for a little bit, and then we'll just go to the next show. And we had told the girls they could pick out where they wanted to sit because they were hoping they'd get splashed by water. So naturally, we ended up right down in the front as far as they thought they could get by with. And my son and I, we were just sitting there talking, and um, I just happened to look out and saw the boat was coming in uh, towards us. coming in it looked just like it did all the other times that we've been up there and seen the boat shows where it's coming into shore and then turn and go back out but this time it didn't turn the last thing I remember the boat was like three feet from me and it was coming right at my head. And um, I knew uh, that, you know, that I was not going to get away from it, that it was going to hit me. All of a sudden, I realized that the boat was on top of me. And I felt something under me, and it was Ray. And while I was laying under there, all I could think of was, you know, what's happened to my family? Where are they all? The person who was sitting directly across the aisle from me, it hit him towards the side of the head or the face, and I had about enough time to push my nieces out of the way, and about that time it hit me on the side of the head. My son had been knocked out, and when he came to, he realized we were under it and he started rocking it, trying to get it off. As they lifted the boat, I can remember looking up and saw my mother, and she had been pinned to the seat with the boat on her. And when they lifted the boat, the terror in her eyes is something I'll never forget. First thing I remember was that boat being lifted and some guy even before it was lifted very much he he grabbed me and he just came down and picked her up and carried her up two rows so that she wouldn't be near the boat if it came back down a bunch of people come with things to put on my arms to try to keep the blood from coming because it was just flowing like a fountain you know it was just coming from my shoulders clear down that man that was helping me, the blood dripped on him, and I hated it because he was just there to, for a good time like I was. And for him to be put through something like that, I kept apologizing to him that I was sorry, but he said it was all right. But, you know, you think of those kind, I don't know why you think of them, but you think of strange things when something terrible happens. They came and put me on a board, put me in a, in a neck brace, and uh, my daughter came over, and I said, where's your mother at? And she turned her head and looked at one of the MTs. She said, haven't you told him yet? And at that point, my, my heart just dropped to the bottom because I thought that she had died. And then, um, like an hour later, they told me that uh, my wife was in Metro Hospital. They probably were going to have to operate on her, uh, but she was alive. And when they told me that, I just said, thank you, Lord. I'm not sure if there's a whole lot I would have done differently. Yeah, certain things might have changed the fact that you weren't there at the time it happened. But the way I look at it, it we were there. I'm just glad it came out all for the best.
I've had thoughts like that. It's kind of like, why did this have to happen?